those children's needs. So I just want to make sure that's central to the consideration as well. Um, yeah, but, um, through the Human Rights Commission, we've been working with Children's Health Services and Children's Health
knowledge have you worked on the management of Linda taking steps to reduce costs and manage their finances better given the, the knowledge of uh, the role of the board of choice? Fifteen 
having children next year. Is that, is that the best educational and UK opportunity for these children? <laughs> Yes. Um, in terms of the, the question about how the decision uh, a cabinet was made on the, the night of the, the 4th of September, I mean, you know, I think it's important to say at the outset that um, I think speak for all members of the cabinet who, who uh, found this a, a really, a really extremely difficult decision. Um, I know that everybody, and I, you know. I do mean that everybody um, had uh, an open mind uh, throughout the consultation, and I was certainly very keen that we didn't make any um, decision until we'd um, read the outcome of the consultation, um, and we'd, we'd certainly read all the, the papers for the, um, uh, for the meeting, the cabinet meeting on the, the 4th of September, the special cabinet meeting. Um, on the at the lunchtime on the 4th. Um, on the request of uh, three permanent governors of Lindale, myself and the cabinet, and the met with two of them, one of them, one of the, the other um, colleague couldn't attend, um, just so there was any additional information that they wanted to provide to us that perhaps wasn't in the papers or hadn't given, been given enough emphasis, we could we could hear their views. So we spent an hour uh, with two of the permanent governors from Lindale. Um, just allowing them to say whatever they, uh, they felt appropriate. Um, and it wasn't really until we had that meeting, during the course of the afternoon, um, the cabinet member drafted a, um, uh, a, a resolution um, 
which was subsequently tabled on, on the evening of the cabinet, but it was very clear um, uh, to all members of the cabinet, because we, uh, we had the discussion beforehand, that it would, we did have a settled view going into the meeting, it was a draft resolution, and that if any additional information uh, emerged at, uh, at the meeting um, from the, the various presentations, and, and we had video uh, of, as well, um, then we would be absolutely um, open to uh, coming up with a new resolution or amending the uh, draft resolution. Um, and indeed, um, the, 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 the draft resolution was amended um, with one uh, uh, clause um, referring to these health, education um, uh, uh, plans that has been previously referred to. Um, so I, I'm very clear <coughs> that, that, um, that, that no point um, going into the cabinet meeting there was, was there a, a, um, a predetermined view and we generally did have an open mind and were prepared to listen to the views at the cabinet meeting and make uh, 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 an appropriate decision. Um, and that was basically how the, um, the, the final decision was made. Thank you, Chair. I thought it would be a very good opportunity for the position. Intention um, when you take the draft resolution that wasn't a draft resolution to keep it open. Well, the fact that we didn't have the word draft on did, did not mean to say it was the final um, uh, version that we would agree. Uh, all cabinet members. Uh, I'm sure the, the, uh, the cabinet member for education, when he sums up, will confirm this um, view. Knew it was a draft, and knew that if we heard any new information that caused us to um, need to amend the resolution at the meeting, we were all uh, freely uh, able to do that. So that was a, a very clear understanding we had before uh, going into the meeting. Well, sure, just a comment on that. It seems to me easier not to go into any resolutions to adjourn. The only addition you made to this pre-printed uh, draft, not notice down the resolution, was the existence of the education healthcare plans. Um, and you said that these should be done by the end of October. Given your insistence on the ed education healthcare plans, do you think they are crucial in establishing the needs of the children? I don't think the um, I don't think it's appropriate to, I don't think it's necessary to have them all done before we make a decision about the future of the school, because I believe that on the basis of all the evidence that we've heard in the consultation uh, and the advice we had from um, officers, I believe we had enough information to make the decision. However, um, as the Director of uh, Children's Services has stated, the individual um, education, education, health and care plans will provide that fine-grained information about the needs of, of each child, which will enable us um, to make sure that the um, uh, uh, future provision is fit for purpose. So um, I don't believe it was necessary to have completed all those plans before we made the uh, decision that we made. No, I don't, because I, as I've just said, stated, Councillor Anderson, I felt we had enough information um, on the, the night of the cabinet before the September to make a recommendation about the future of the school.
Um, no, it wasn't predetermined. Um, you know, I, I'm sure, well, I know I, I made the comment when, uh, when we had the debate at full council um, on the future of Lindale School. Uh, I think I was at pains in, in arguing against the resolution that your group moved, which was at that stage, to make it. Well, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to answer the question, yeah. Chair. Sorry. Um, well.